Now, like we said, the market seems to be performing quite well. Bullish sentiments when it comes to investors up 0.55%. However, do you think this is in anticipation of the upcoming results season or do you think that people are just buying cheap right now? Well, I think it's in an anticipation of the upcoming result, not that, and again, added to the fact that they are cheap. Actually, they are cheap. So, and then the results will still be, will soon be coming in. So, people are taking position, knowing fully whether we're going to enter the second quarter, which is the ending and uh, the season, second quarter results. Sometimes, it's through the second quarter results, you can start to determine what it will look like in the third and the, and the, and, and the, and the fourth quarter. And again, when you look at some of the some of the companies are going to be giving interim dividends during the second quarter result. So you just realize why investors are taking position in those stocks at the moment. But it could be it could be that it could continue. It could it might not continue because um, it has to do with um, investor sentiment. Which um, if some investors that have been on the market seeing that bought some of those stock at a very low price may decide to offload and taking their profit without waiting for the result. But by and large, I think most investors want to see the second quarter result come out. Mm, before they start to sort yeah. of buy this this stocks. But let, let, me, let me talk about Union Bank. We saw the results come out yesterday. Quite disappointing. The stock lost uh, about 4.4% as a result. So obviously investors responded quite negatively to that. We saw profit after, talk, uh, profit after tax loss of 94 billion naira, profit before tax loss of 122 billion naira. Now speculation out there is, this is uh, obviously uh, we're seeing uh, write downs of bad deaths, de bad deaths left over from 2009 coming out. What is your take on the reason? Because I mean, they haven't told us the reason for these bad results. But well, the result is telling us the reason for the bad result. I know that one of those banks that uh, were, were, were sold by, by CBN and um, the new management just came in, maybe they're trying to clear up their books. And we, But when you look at it, you, you will say that actually you could look at it, generally the result coming in now is bad. But when you look at it as compared to their last year result, you could say they, 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 there's an improvement because last year they did almost 200 and something billion loss and now they're doing 120. So you could see that there's an improvement, gradual improvement in the results. going it, 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 it was expected. Anybody that says it's not expected because that's a bank that is still trying to, to, to come out from the wood. And um, again, the new management are doing all they could to bring it out of the wood. And again, you, you have to realize that um, it, it's a bank that have a lot of structural problem, has to do with reorientation. A lot of things have to happen for, for Union Bank to be um, the bank that it used to be, because most even retail um, bank people that bank with them, retail bankers, and most people are no more there. Mm. But looking at the manufacturing sector results, uh, flour mills also released their uh, Q1 results, uh, turnover grew by 8.2%. We also saw their margins declining, we saw uh, their cost profile remaining high. And of course, this begs the question, what are we going to see in, in, res in the results of other manufacturing companies right now? Um, Commodity prices uh, are high, coupled, of course, with exchange rate losses uh, over the period. So what is your take for the results we're going to see coming out uh, from the manufacturing companies? It might not be different from what we're seeing now. It might not be different because, um, like you just highlighted most of the problems, and then you're not looking at the power situation, too. It has not, imp it has not improved generally very well. And again, you know, the new billing system that has come into effect, too, we definitely going to affect them going forward. So we are only seeing this, I'm sure this was before the billing system come. By the time some of these um, uh, uh, manufacturing companies that use um, power from um, from power holding to that, we expect them to to to, to have high costs. Mm. When you say the new billing system, you mean the uh, the change in, in yeah, tariffs, electricity yeah, the, tariffs? Yeah, the, the change in electricity tariffs. But again, when you look, some of these um, manufacturers are actually using their own independence power. Some of them, I, I'm not sure, I, I, and, I, and I think Flower May is one of them that have built their own independent power plant that they use to generate their own electricity for their own uh, manufacturing product. But when you look at the result, you could say because of the volatility of the exchange rate towards mostly the naira and the dollar has been, has been on a high for some time now. But at the point, it was um, quite stable, but it has been really a little bit high. And the commodity price, I'm knowing that some of these. Uh, um, um, manufacturing sector, most of their product that they bring, they are, they are, they are, they are exported, they are exported into into Nigeria. I mean, they are imported into Nigeria. So you know that the 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 we don't expect anything so fantastic from them. Mm. I don't think so. Mm. Going for mostly when we have not been able to fix most of uh, comes to infrastructure and power. 
So for now, the cost of doing business in those manufacturers where we are, and how many Nigerians actually make use of some of these products? If you mm -hmm. look at the general manufacturing sector, you only say that people like Nestle, because of the, the nature of their product, will be made, and you know that flour is actually those people that people buy flour to make bread, and how many people Nigerians now, they, re they reduce their, 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 their consumption of bread, so. Mm. <laughs> so no, cassava bread. Cassava oh. bread is there now, so, so let's see. Well, what is your take about um, in the manufacturing sector as well? Yesterday we had uh, UAC come out say they're going to uh, buy livestock feeds, which is an animal feeds company. Uh, we're talking about market share sort of changing there. We're saying their grand cereal uh, 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 company is obviously going to sort of... Uh, overtake flour mills when it comes to market share. Flour mills has about 50% of market share. What is your take on, on this MOU signing we saw yesterday? Well, do you, you ask yourself um, what, how well is livestock doing before they take over UAC? But they, they've not really been doing very well. So in short, is it, it, in, the, in, in the long run, it's going to um, surely bring up the, um, the, 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 the projection of UAC. But in the short term, I think it's going to draw them down a little. Because they have to do a lot of rebranding, they have to do a lot of restructuring, they have to do a lot of things there. So I think in the long run, it's going to affect them. But it, I mean, the, in the short term, it's going to affect them. But in the long run, it might be, it might be good for them. If, if you look at the livestock, livestock is actually one of those only companies that are involved in, their, in, in that type of um, business in Nigeria, like instead of the front of the exchange. So going forward. Did come out yesterday in the banking sector. They did come out out, out yesterday saying they're going to list three lenders instead of selling them, uh, mainly Main Street Bank, Enterprise Bank, and Keystone Bank. What is your take on this move? Because actually, they also say there there's a lot of interest outside in acquiring these banks. What is your take? We are going back to where they have always told us. People are interested in acquiring this bank. There are a lot of things, but they want to put it in order. The, it's it's, it's same, same story, same scenario, same everything, every time, still going on. So let's just, I, 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 I take a posture of just uh, sit down and look and see what actually is going to come out from there and who are they lending it to. Is there a Nigerian bank that's going to be a lender or the, all, all the foreign banks? So let's see. You, you can see all of all the banks that have, have, have been taken over by Am and by Amcom, no, no, not really any bank is doing very well at the moment. Not any, any, any of them are doing very well. Look at Union Bank. So even if, they t if the lenders come in, we don't expect anything so, 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 so beautiful from them. I, I don't think going forward we have any. We, we just sit down and look at what Amcom is. I, they, the term sometimes seems to be in confused. They, they sometimes look so confused on what they want to do. Mm. They, today they want to lend, tomorrow they are outright selling, next tomorrow they are saying that. Then, let them get their act together and let and us And these listings, of course, how are they going to affect uh, the stock market if these banks finally do list? Of course, they haven't determined the fair value of these banks. They're doing this right now. But if these banks do list on the stock exchange, how is this uh, going to fare for the market? <laughs> well, I, I don't understand how they want to do a listing from a thing they delist and they say those investors that put in their money, they have lost their money. And a lot of people are saying you want to list. So what happened to the former people? Where, 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 what are you going to do to them? So you, do you expect them to come back and buy that same stock again when it's listed? Mm. Well, Mukhtar, lastly, of course, I want to know your stock picks. I mean, we see, we, yesterday we saw UBA rally. We saw uh, other stocks like GT Bank and First Bank, especially in the banking sector, doing quite well. We also saw National Sol uh, Salt Company of Nigeria up, 7up up. So what, is your, what are your stock picks uh, for, for this week? And of course, your outlook for the day. They have, the outlook for the day could be positive, depends on which area the investor, investors are trying to look at it. And I think today it might be positive. Then when you look at my outlook, I think I'm still looking at the banking sector, still looking at the first bank, so looking at GTB bank because of their interim result that will come. You still look at Assets Bank also because their interim result and interim dividend payout schedules that are coming in. And you still, I, I think the banking sector and national sort, I think people are beginning to take position because of, mm. of their first quarter result and they believe their end, their that second quarter result is, uh, will actually be, be very good. Well, thank you so much, Mukta Mohammed, an analyst with Asha Investment.